Wired for adventure. Driven to explore. Conditioned to conquer. I am an Arctic cat rider. There are others like me, always seeking a different path. A new challenge. The unexpected. Mine is a privileged existence. Prototyped on the racetrack. Manufactured in this sanctuary. Distributed among all who share my passion. These, our sleds, reflect the intensity of our drive. They are both machine and loyal companion. Integral to the experience. Directing us to ride more. The mere sight of Arctic Cat Green triggers a reaction in the brain, sparking an intense craving only the throttle can satisfy. This brand stands for performance, power, engineering precision, quality, advanced technology, and outstanding dealer service. This brand is Arctic Cat. This is why we ride more. Arctic Cat, share our passion. The value of racing throughout the entire history of Arctic Cat has been to, to make the consumer sleds better. The Arctic race suspension was developed first on a race sled. We actually took that front end and put it on a race sled and went and jumped it and, and put it through the pace to make sure that it accomplished the things that we wanted. The slide action rear suspension came from an idea that Kirk Hibbert and Russ Ebert had on their drive out to do race testing in, in, West, in an Island Park, Idaho. Every snowmobile today has hook handlebars on it. That's from racing. The wide running boards, the tunnel edge rolls, all the little things that you see on a consumer sled, we want to test out on the racetrack first because you get immediate testing and you get immediate results, whether they're good or bad. When I look back at the whole ZR lineup, I look at continuous improvement. It's looking for ways to make the product work in all the different environments, all the different ride packages, but also just the quality standpoint of, of really making a product that a guy who puts his money down can feel proud about it. That's what we strive for at Arctic Cat, and we ride more so that we can accomplish that and so that our customers can ride more. The RR, now this is the ultimate. This sled looks like what's racing on the track right now, and it really gives you some features that are not available anywhere else. They're only available on the RR and only available in the spring. All four shocks are higher end than even the regular QS3s. They still get the QS3 adjustment, the three clickers, but now they have a Kashima coating in them, which is a hard, a hard coating that, that is used on a lot of the higher end shocks out there. It's a smoother shock, there's less stiction in the shock itself, and it's a durable coating so that the shocks last longer. And the other nice thing on the RR is if you look at the running boards, you'll see a little wider extrusion that's used. That's when the guys were on the snow cross track and they, they wanted to get more footprint uh, where they can move their feet around but still maintain a lot of grip. Another thing with the new RR this year is we've extended it to 137 inch length. We felt that the 137 inch really works well, especially when you get into the higher horsepower models, like our new 9000, our 998 Turbo, you know, where you're trying to get all that power to the ground and, and maintain traction. That 137 inch track works really well. That's why we decided to expand it into the RR model lineup as well. first started with Articat, I was able to work on a model called the Thundercat. This year Articat is bringing back the Thundercat with a new triple turbo four stroke. 180 horsepower, smooth. It's the new Crown World's fastest sled. 
and really muscle sled guys out there that when we quit making a Thundercat, they were, they were very upset. They want to see that Thundercat back. So we're giving them a Thundercat back and it's a triple. We incorporated the design of the new plastic to really accentuate the, the airflow under the hood, but to make it look cool. We've got the new LED headlight with accent lighting, so when you turn your key on and you just want to see the accent lighting, it just looks, it looks great. You also get the QS3 shocks and the skis, and it comes with the, with the cool graphics, and, uh, and it really, the guy that buys it, he's gonna, he's gonna stand out in the crowd. We have some other models out there that are only available in the spring. And the first one to talk about is the El Tigre. It kind of comes back from the 70s when El Tigre was introduced. It's the Tiger, you know, and, and, it, and it really brings back that Articat heritage. See, even the way the graphics are designed, you, you get the hint of the old, but it's got the new spin on it. And what you get with it is you get a new front bumper with it that's, that looks kind of pretty aggressive but cool. But now you also step up, you, you get the Fox QS3 shocks and the ski shocks, and you get the Articat 1.5 IFP shock and the front track shock, but in the rear track, now you get the, the Fox QS3 shocks. So you really what you're doing is you're kind of buying a piece of history with that El Tigre package and, and how it's all put together. And, and you get all the amenities that you got in limited, but it's only an El Tigre and, it, and it's only available in the spring. Next package up is a limited package. It gets its own suspension package. Up front you get the, the QS3 shocks and then the rear track now gets the Fox QS3 2.0 shocks with the three positions that you can adjust from, from one, two, or three. It gets its own special graphics. Uh, this year we're coming out with a new camouflage pattern which is pretty cool looking. But we also have the new front bumper on, the, on all the limited models. We also provide them with a goggle bag which is pretty nice for, for storing some stuff in there that you want a little heat in. On the limited models you, you get another side, side benefit with it is that you get tunnel flares. So the tunnel flare, especially in the really slushy conditions, it kind of protects you a little bit from getting the spray in the back. Another feature on the limited model that you get that, that works well with the hook handlebars themselves is the hook brake lever. So really when you get into a nice little racer tuck going around a left hand sweeper, you can get your hand out there on the edge and, and use your finger to, to apply the brake and you're always in control. It just sets you apart a little bit more from some of the LXRs or the Snow Pros. So in the Snow Pro package versus the LXR, you get a little shorter windshield. And then in the ski shocks, we have a new shock coming out now for 2017 called the Fox Zero 1.5 RC. Gives that, that customer a little more options for the actual calibration of the shock itself. And in the skid frame, we still have the Articat 1.5 IFP shock in the rear track shock is a Articat 2.0 which means it's a two inch body. So it's, it's a good shock for when you're going through a lot of big bumps. You can have a Snow Pro in either 129 inch length or 137 inch length. And the 129 inch length, you can get the Ripsaw track. The 137 comes with the Ripsaw too, and they're both inch and a quarter lugs. That package with the Snow Pro is really geared towards a more aggressive rider, but not so aggressive that it, it sacrifices his ride quality in the lesser bumps or the lower speeds. The LXR packages, it offers all the models with all our engine packages available, as low as 60 horsepower, all the way up to 180 horsepower four stroke with our new 998 turbo. You get a taller windshield, which gives you a little more side protection, your leg protection, but also has a very sporty look about it. We have Articat IFP 1.5 ski shocks, as well as a front arm shock, and then a 1.5 in the rear track shock as well. All the ZR LXRs also get the 1.25 inch uh, ripsaw track 
very good trail track for really digging into the, the hard packed snow. All the 137 inch length tracks will get the Ripsaw 2 track. You still get the inch and quarter, you get good front bite, but uh, you also get a little more um, where you can break the back end free a little bit with the 137. On the 7000 and the 9000, you get the heated seat that comes standard. LXRs get the rear storage bag as well. That, that gives you quite a bit of room for an extra pair of gloves, an extra pair of goggles. You, you're ready in case anything happens. The ride package itself is calibrated in a way to really work well in the chatter bumps. It's not for the guy that's going to go and hit big jumps and stuff like that, but for the guy that just likes to hit the trail and it won't feel like you're shaking your kidneys. It it's just floats over everything really nice. So it's a, it's a very all around package and they all come with electric start too, which is so nice. Just turn the key in and you're ready to go. The 2017 ZR lineup brings racetrack proven technology to the performance lineup with awe inspiring results. The Procross chassis is a very strong chassis. It's got a two piece tapered tunnel design that gives you great stiffness as well as good ergos with the sidewalls being tipped in, allows the rider to stand up, sit down, nice transition. The front bulkhead area with the lower frame design is all a boxed in, very rigid chassis that ties in with the side and over spar structure. All in all, all those components bolted together, box the Procross chassis in and make it very durable, very rigid and lightweight. We learned a lot of what we learned on the racetrack to help develop the Procross Arctic Race front suspension. It's very unique compared to a lot of the other snowmobiles out there with its wide A-arms, forged aluminum spindles. Not only does it make the suspension function well, but it also helps with the chassis design. So with the wide spacing, what it does is it allows the suspension linkages and all the joints, if there's any bit of clearance, which every bushing axle has to have, having the upper and lower A-arms spaced further apart keeps a tighter suspension system overall. So that's one of the big advantages with having that upper and lower A-arm spread apart as far as we do. The slide action suspension has been around since early 2000s. It was developed on the racetrack with Russ Ebert, Kirk Hibbert. They've raced it for quite a few years in development. It's got a great geometry to it in the sense and how it functions. It's the only coupled suspension in the industry that allows you to control transfer but yet maintain full front arm travel. That's the big plus with that suspension is how it slides in the front arm as it couples up in the rear and maintains the front arm travel but yet still gives you good corner. ZR suspension systems employ a variety of shocks depending on the ride package, starting with Arctic Cat IFP shocks. These are internally floating piston design, meaning that it's an aluminum body. And the value of that is that it's a higher end rebuildable shock, so very long lasting, but if, after you get, you know, four or five thousand miles on a slide, it's nice to be able to take your shocks and get them rebuilt. Fox Zero RC shocks are featured in the front suspension of Snow Pro models. The Fox Zero 1.5 RC. This gives you some adjustability with rebound and bleed adjust, but what it does is actually controls the compression and rebound. So if you want to turn it up, it, it stiffens the shock, and if you turn it down, it, it makes a little softer package. So it gives that, that customer a little more options for the actual calibration of the shock itself. Multiple versions of Fox Zero QS3 adjustable shocks come standard on limited and exclusive factory spring models. The simplicity of it is what's going to really make the customer happy. He's going to be able to go down, look at his shock, know exactly where it's at, and be able to move it to either a softer, stiffer setting. Some shocks come with a hand knob, but you don't know where you're at in the 24 click range, so it's going to allow them to make a lot easier, quicker adjustment on the trail and be able to go back to that setting and visually know where they're at when they hop off to make the adjustment. The Team Driven Clutch is something that we've been running on the racetrack for uh, the last 10 years. Very proven design, they're well known in the transmission clutch industry. We've seen great success on the racetrack with the Team Clutch and now being able to put it in our consumer sleds is very exciting to me uh, because it's a very reputable, very durable, lightweight clutch. 
This is about competition, about winning, about leaning into performance and riding like never before. The crossover segment is a neat segment because it's really grown over the years. Ten years ago, the performance segment was probably the most popular, and then we saw mountain segments becoming more popular, and there's mixing of segments that was happening. So the crossover segment was kind of born from that. So for model year 2017, we're, we're offering four different packages for the crossover segment, starting with the cross tour to the cross track. New for 2017 is the Cross Country Limited, and then we also have the high country, what we've had for a number of years now, to really meet the needs of the different riding styles, the different locations where people like to go with these sleds. The value with having a crossover, it, it allows you to ride more because the changing conditions or the different terrains that you may end up going to, it makes you want to go and explore and, and to ride more and go into new areas and really expand your boundaries. So now we get to the high country, and the high country is a model that is more specific to the mountain terrain. It, uh, it gets the 40 inch wide ski stance with the Arctic mountain suspension, so we get the, the new caster change in the spindles, we get the new Pro Climb 7 skis. All the improvements that we made in the 2016 mountain sleds and the high country carry over into the 2017s. This sled is, is, a, is a very good sled for those guys that ride in Michigan that like to get off trail and especially in the upper peninsula, you know, there's, there's areas there that they can ride that are very much like the, the mountains in that they get the, the deep ravines and they get a the lot of powder snow. Uh, but the other value, even for the guys like in Minnesota that occasionally go out west, they have a high country. The sled works very good on the trails. Uh, it gets the, uh, the float ski shocks and then the float rear arm shock and then the Arctic Cat 1.5 IFP shock and the front track shock. But it also comes with a 141 inch power claw track. That track will go through the power very well. So the high country takes advantage of really being able to get more off trail and more mountain, but still work really good with the uh, with the trail. An example of that is we kept the telescopic handlebars on the high country for that value. So the Cross Country Limited is more of an enduro type sled, and this sled was made for more trail riding, but a lot of off-trail riding as well. And when I say off-trail, I'm saying, you know, guys, especially over in, in Scandinavia, these guys, they ride on trails, but they're, they're ungroomed, so they become just like, like the ditches in Midwestern um, snow belt that just get whooped out and, and get, get big holes, big bumps, and, and they need a sled that really absorb it, absorb those. So the ARS front suspension with the QS3 shocks, the rear su suspension is a 137 inch slide action rear suspension with a QS3 rear arm shock and Articat IFP front arm shock. So you really get a lot of value in, in both the front and the back with being able to adjust with your conditions. With the QS3, we have the three settings so you can go from the soft to the medium to the more aggressive. Very easily done and, and it's a big value on the Cross Country Limited because those guys will go into different styles of terrain um, and they may stay on groomed trails most of the day but as the day grows long and trails get whooped out then, then they got the opportunity to click them up if they choose to. But it also gets the 1.75 inch Backcountry X track which this track now is really aggressive on the trails and the deep snow 
It's got a harder lug. It's, it's more snow cross inspired, so, so it actually does very well in the powder snow. It, it's got a lug design that really you know, gets the sled up and on top of the snow well and really gives you traction. So it's really a sled that, that meets the needs of a lot of different varieties. Okay, now go into the Crosstrek model. This is the next step for a crossover, and then it's more of a sport model. It's more of an uh, adventure, adventure model. And that these guys are going to be riding on the trails, so they'll get the they want the taller windshield, and they'll get the mirrors on it. But they also are going to be getting off trail a little more. So in this model, we put the 1.6 Cobra Track, which the Cobra Track is a great track for working on the on the trails. Uh, the benefit now is when you get into the more looser snow, maybe off trail or or, or some more some ungroomed areas, it, it just floats on top of the snow better. Really, the cup lugs that really grab the snow and re really work well in those kind of conditions. The ride package is a, for a little more of an aggressive rider, so it will come with uh, still come with the Articat IFP shocks in the front and the back, but it, it gets the, the two inch IFP in the rear track shock. So the cross track also can be a day tripper and that it offers offers more storage. It's got the tunnel bag. It's it's also got a rear or a saddle bag, is what we call it. Fit right on the side of the back of the seat, so you can put in a lot of snacks and water, whatever you need to get you through the day, um, and still get great fuel economy because we offered in the 7,000 with the 1049 three cylinder four stroke, and then we also knew for this year is it's going to be our new engine with the 998 turbo. So you got the two four stroke packages, and then we also offered in the 6,000 and the 8,000 two strokes as well. So we're really offering this model with a with all four of those different engine packages to really suit the guy's needs or the gal's needs on, on what they want in the sled. The cross tour model is a great model for a guy or, or a woman that likes to go off on a weekend trip. This sled is geared to more trail riding, but it'll have a 146 inch track. That's a ripsaw track, inch and a quarter ripsaw, so it works very good on the trail. And 146 inch track works really good because it, it really does a good job of going over the stutter bump. So you get on a lot of, of big trail systems where they get beat out over the weekend you want. You, you like that longer track to support support the sled and, and really kind of skim over the bumps. And the other value of the 146 is that it's a longer longer chassis, so it really gives you the opportunity to carry a lot more cargo with you. A lot of, you know, if you're going away for a weekend, you want to have all your, all your stuff with you and extra clothes and all that. So we offer a, a cargo box, basically, that, to where you can put all your stuff in there. And along top of that, with the cross through what you get, for because these guys are putting in a lot of miles, so you get a lot more gas. You get that four gallon auxiliary tank, so you, you have almost 15 gallons of gas to go on your trip. The Cross Tour is a nice model in the fact that if you buy this, then you really have a two for one sled because you can put a two up seat on it and bring your, your wife or your kids or somebody on a ride with you. But if it's just you that wants to ride by yourself, then you can take the seat off and now it's, it's just a solo touring sled. Arctic Cat dominates the crossover category. There are four different models in the XF lineup, all with different features to satisfy the whims of every rider. Whether you love flying across miles of trail, or you can't get enough of the powder, there's an XF for you. Three unique chassis define the lineup, Pro Tour, Pro Cross, and Pro Climb. Enter the XF Cross Tour featuring the Pro Tour chassis. Engineered for long distance riding, the occasional off-trail excursion is always encouraged. The Pro Tour chassis, as opposed to the Pro Climb or the Pro Cross, 
is obviously it's a, it's a little stronger. It's built, uh, it's a single one piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that are, are, are that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo. Of course, hauling two people for, for a touring application. That's probably the big difference. The front ends are very similar. The front structure of the chassis, the front suspension, very similar to what you're gonna see in Procross. But uh, really the differences come from the drive shaft back and that's, uh, it's just a longer chassis with more strength built in and hauls longer tracks, which are, are typically a better application for a touring. With a 146 inch length, still gives you the ability to, to get off trail, gives you lots of traction, a lot of track underneath you to get in the powder and, and do a lot of the fun things out in the powder, but it still gives you a good length for spanning the bumps when you're, when you're on the, you know, the rough trails. Feast your eyes on the XF Crosstrek and the new XF Cross Country, featuring the Pro Cross chassis brought over from the performance category. You know its trail strengths. Here's why it's so competent off-trail. Well, the Pro Cross chassis is a very strong chassis. It's got a two-piece tapered tunnel design that gives you good, great stiffness as well as good ergos with the sidewalls being tipped in. Uh, allows the rider to stand up, sit down, nice transition. Uh, moving up to the front, the, the front bulkhead area with the lower frame design is all a boxed in, very rigid, rigid chassis um, that ties in with the side and over, over spar structure. Um, so all in all, all those components bolted together, box the Procross chassis in and make it very durable, very rigid um, and lightweight. We learned a lot of what we learned on the racetrack to help develop the Procross Arctic Race front suspension. Uh, it's very unique compared to a lot of the other uh, snowmobiles out there with its wide arms, uh, forged aluminum spindles. Um, not only does it make the suspension function well, but it also helps with the chassis design. So with the wide spacing, what it does is it allows the suspension linkages and all the joints, if there's any bit of clearance, which every bushing axle has to have, having this, the upper and lower arm spaced further apart keeps a tighter suspension system overall. So that's one of the big advantages of having the upper and lower A-arms separated. Slide action suspension's been around since uh, early 2000s. It was developed on the racetrack with uh, Russ Ebert, Kirk Hibbert. Um, they, they raced it for quite a few years in development. Um, it's got a great uh, geometry to it in, in the sense and how it functions. Um, it's the only coupled suspension in the industry that allows you to, to control transfer but yet maintain full front arm travel. If you're happiest in the powder, you gotta have an XF High Country featuring the incredibly capable Pro Climb chassis and mountain skid frame. We still offer the telescopic posts in the High Country and we see a lot of value in that because the High Country generally is a, is a model where you get a lot a lot of guys that will use it for more trail than off trail. I'd say it's probably more 75% off trail and 25% trail that they'll use the high country with. So that's where the telescopic post really shines because those guys will have the ability to raise it up when they get off trail and then just drop it down if they're generally more trail riding than, than mountain riding. The high country has a 141 inch track, power claw track with a two and a quarter lug. It gets the new lightweight A-arms but instead of a 36 inch ski stance, it actually gets a 40 inch ski stance. And one of the big benefits of that too is with our new front end being able to adjust the ski stance so they can have some adjustment on that high country and get it down to below 40 inch ski stance. And so it'll be, it'll perform well on the trails as well as off trail. The XF lineup is all about choice. Naturally, that means there's a number of two and four stroke engine options. The entire lineup boasts race-proven team clutches. The team-driven clutch is something that we've been running on the racetrack for the last 10 years. Very proven design. They're well known in the transmission clutch industry, and uh, we're, we're pretty excited to be able to put this product on our performance model. Aggressive trails, deep powder, and everything in between, the Arctic Cat XF crossovers are built to go where you want to go. You're an Arctic Cat rider. That's why you ride more. You know, 
hard at cat. I mean, they just, they really make it easy for us to be up there doing what we're doing. It kind of makes me wonder how are they going to keep making them better. I mean, but every year they do. So mile year 2017, exciting year for us because we are very passionate about making the mountain sleds work the best that they can. The things that we did in 2016 with the new Arctic Mountain suspension, the float action rear skid frame, the new Pro Climb 7 skis have made a tremendous difference on how this sled works out in the snow. And what we wanted to focus on for 2017 now is continue to make it work better. There's a balance that you have to maintain. You need to be light, but yet you need to be durable. We got to spend a little bit of time on these new 2017s and just, Arctic Cat just keeps up in the bar every year. The Mountain Cat is definitely a legit sled. With the drop chain case, it slide hills so much better, and you know, it comes with everything a guy needs. It's pretty much a mod sled. We focus on all our designs to make them durable, but as light as possible, and we'll continue to get lighter, but we don't want to sacrifice durability to do it. We want to make the best mountain sled out there, and we want our customer to buy it, and all he has to do is put on the gas and oil, and away he goes. And he doesn't have to add bracing, doesn't have to put any aftermarket stuff on there to make it work better. He can do all that, there's options out there, but really, we want the best, best mountain sled right out of the box. The hill climb racers, they, they buy a sled to go hill climb racing, but that's, they also use that sled a lot of times for just recreational purposes. What we've done to give more option to the racer as well as the consumers, we went to QS3 shocks. The same kind of shocks that, that are going on, like the, the trail sleds now are gonna be on the HCR. But we're gonna have them on the ski shocks, and we're also gonna have them on the front track shock and the rear track shocks. It's a big plus for the racers because it, it really gives them a lot of more options on how they want to tune their, their ride calibration for when they're going up the hill. Then also really transferring over to the consumer because that person can, can adjust it. If they want to do a lot more steep climbing and stuff, they may want to put the rear suspension on a stiffer setting. Or if they want to soften it up and, and let it transfer more, they can drop the, the switch down to maybe uh, one setting. Being the HCR is a race race model that, that some of our Articat racers race up the hills. And we've offered a system called a, a VIP, it's a data acquisition system. And the racers, they buy this little box and they plug it into their main harness and it collects different metrics like pipe temperature and speed of the driven shaft and ground speed. A bunch of different parameters that, that you work with when you're tuning your sled to get the most performance out of it. So we want to make the HCR work well in all the conditions as well, not only on the racetrack but on the trails and in the, in the backcountry as well. One of the items we had in our back pocket that we've been working on is what we call the mountain drive system. This is gonna come standard on our mountain cat. That's what we're gonna be calling our spring choice only for the mountain segment. And what it is is we've taken the drive shaft and we've lowered it uh, inch and an eighth. And the value of that is that you, you get on the snow even better now. You, I mean, it's that with that flat approach angle, you, you can pop up onto the snow and, and really the sled becomes more maneuverable and a really deep powder. It allows you to run eight tooth drivers with a three inch track. We've narrowed the running boards by um, an inch on each side. Everybody knows that when you're running in the mountains, um, you know, the reason why you narrow them up is so that you don't get caught with the running boards on the edges. And then also on the mountain cats, you get the, the evil suspension with the same as what the limiteds we're getting with the Pro Climb front bumper, the, the goggle bag. Uh, but 
what you get more with the Mountcat is that drop drive shaft and the narrowed up running boards. The big focus again was to, to make the mountain sled better in the more technical stuff. For the Mountain Cat, we wanted to stick with our traditional green, but we've also incorporated another shade of green. So when the guys see you out on the trail or see you up in the mountains, they're gonna see you right away that you've, you've made the step, you got the best that Arctic Cat offers. It's gonna be a big hit. For 2017, we have a new limited model. Pretty cool uh, graphics design with the black and the green. We also have a pretty cool graphic packages for a limited model called the camouflage pattern. On the limited models, you get the, the limited shock package. You get the Fox Float Evols in the ski shocks, and then the front arm shock is actually a Fox Float Evol 3 as well, and the rear track shock is a Fox Float 3 Evol R, and, and that means that you have some rebound adjustability in, in that rear track shock. I'm really trying to offer a lot of different things for people that, that want to go the extra step to get that limited package. The Pro Climb front bumper, the goggle bag, you can buy an option with electric start or without. I've you know, talked to guys that have experienced it and they, they feel it's one of the best ride packages that the mountain has had to date. Snow Pro package to the next level up. Now we get into your kind of your, your meat and potatoes of a mountain sled. We, we're going to maximize our weight loss with the Snow Pro. It, it uses a 2.6 inch track. We offered it in the 141 and the 153 and the 162. You know, the value in that Snow Pro, now you get the Float 3 ski shocks, you get the Articad IFP 1.5 front track shock, and in the rear track shock, you get the Float 3 again. It comes with the mount seat, which is an inch and a half lower and five inches shorter than, than a seat that for a sled that would have like electric start. That 2.6 inch power claw has been considered the best track in the industry, arguably so because of the weight and, and the lug pattern. It's proprietary to Articat. Works very well with the deep powder as well as on the hard pack in the spring. It's a, it's a great track all around. The SE package is really performance with less cost. We made a very conscious effort to make the SE package a sled that worked very well in the hills. So you know, we put the vertical post on it, it's got the new Arctic Mountain suspension on it. They're all going to come with electric start, so whether it's a 600 or an 800, it'll have electric start. But it still have the Arctic Mountain suspension, the fixed vertical bars. It'll come standard with IFP 1.5 shocks in the ski, the front track and the rear track. It'll also come standard with the two and a quarter power cloth track. The benefit of this SE package is you really get into a mountain sled with a little less cost. Later on, if you want to upgrade your shock package, you know, the customer has that option to do that. And there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they, they don't really want to have to pull over a sled so much with a recoil. So having electric start as a standard equipment is, is really nice for them. And then they have the recoil, you know, if they want as well. But, um, we feel that, that that's a good option for that package.
In my year of 2017, Arctic Cat, big focus has been on continue to help the mountain sled work well in the mountains. Uh, the things that we did in 2016 with the new Arctic Mountain suspension, the float action rear skid frame, the new Pro Climb 7 skis have made a tremendous difference on how this sled works out in the snow. The other thing that we've been focusing on is reducing some weight. We want to provide a vehicle right out of the chute that's as light as, as we can get it but still durable. At Arctic Cat, we strive to lose weight every year, but we don't want to do it at the sacrifice of durability. When we designed the Arctic Mountain suspension, the big focus was on how to get the sled to initiate a side hill easier, so we changed the caster angle and the spindles actually moved it back 10 degrees from 17 degrees to 27 degrees. And what that does is that when you're in a side hill and you counter steer, now the, the outside edge of the ski that's inside to the side hill is actually flipped up a little bit so it conforms to the side of the hill better and you just feel more confident. The spindle here, if you can see, is a whole new spindle. It's smaller, lighter weight. That this tip to the 10 degrees back for a caster change allows you the side hill and when you cut through the snow better, less surface area to run into the snow. And with this caster change, when you turn the steering, the skis have a more angle to them, they roll up. So we see that on the cutting on the hillside, the ski kind of follows the terrain of the hill, so you're not using as much effort to hold the side hill with the ski in there. It kind of rolls up the hill with you and help you maintain your line. Along with the changes that we made to the front end to make it handle better, we also did quite a bit of work on the rear suspension to improve the balance as well as the ride control. And what we've done is this rail actually um, comes up approximately an inch higher than our uh, old rail in 15. And the bend here is a little bit different. For better flotation, we've gone to a uh, 12 and a half inch front arm shock versus the old 11 and a quarter. Now we also have six and a half inches approximately of front arm travel where we were at only four and a quarter, four and a half on the older model, which now gives our rider much more adjustability if he wants to uh, pull the front arm down and give it a little more ski pressure than he can do that. Another benefit by raising this front arm up an inch is that now we can keep a consistent track tension on this snowmobile. So 20 pounds at two inches. So as the snowmobile goes through its range of motion from full extension to collapse, the track stays at a consistent 20 pounds. Working with team clutches, for me, is we've, we started that back in Amalia 2004 on the race sled. We really liked how their clutch worked. Uh, so now when we go to team clutches on our pro climb sleds, I'm pretty excited about it for a few reasons in that they have a very good reputation and durability. The clutches that we've been running um, with them, working with them on it, have performed very well. It, we feel that it's just smoother engagement and uh, works, works smoother throughout the whole uh, range of, of gearing, uh, so to speak. It's all the things that make a mountain sled work good is the things that we work on. Uh, you know, we get a lot of pressure. Our, mount, our mountain guys are very passionate about, about the next great thing, but, but we're always striving to not bring it out unless we truly feel that it's gonna be a benefit and it's gonna make the model work better. All that kind of stuff takes time, but we don't wanna give it to the customer until it's right. So um, that's something we'll continue to strive to do. The 2016 M's from Arctic Cat, with best in the mountains horsepower and a race proven drivetrain, these machines are ready to own the deep powder and conquer the peaks. Want to know why Arctic Cat riders ride more? The experience. These sleds mirror our lifestyle. We have an appreciation for the outdoors. For getting together with friends. For spending quality time with family. 
The 2017 touring lineup is for all of us who share a passion for this Arctic cat lifestyle. Starting with the Lynx 2000 LT, this fan-cooled two-stroke machine is a mainstay of the lineup. It boasts electric start, a comfortable, removable passenger seat, and a plush suspension. When you're looking for value, you can't beat the family-friendly Lynx 2000 LT. Enter the Pantera. No machine delivers the same top-of-the-line rider comfort and performance. Credit Deluxe heated rider and passenger seats, heated driver and passenger hand grips, an ultra-smooth suspension, and a tall, weather-repelling windshield. Under hood is a smooth, efficient EFI four-stroke. Just what you want for those all-day rides. The Pantera is offered in three forms. The Pantera 3000, the Pantera 7000 Limited, and the Pantera 7000 Limited XT. The Pantera 3000 combines quality and value in a two-up touring machine. The ride is silky smooth thanks to the ARS front suspension and slide action rear suspension. This large rear storage compartment holds volumes of gear. The Pantera 7000 Limited is serious machinery. Performance and comfort are second to none. The smooth, responsive three-cylinder four-stroke eats miles of trail effortlessly. The ARS front suspension and slide action rear suspension combine sporty handling with amazing bump absorption. Detachable bags and the large rear storage compartment are a nod to this sled's true calling. Epic rides. The Pantera 7000 Limited XT is the luxury SUV of touring machines. Built on the Pro Tour WT chassis, this is ultimate comfort and ride quality with the capability of pulling substantial loads. The ARS front suspension keeps you nimble on the trail. The extra action rear suspension with a 20 inch articulating track keeps you afloat in the powder. The wide range three speed tranny boasts ultra low gearing. There's plenty of storage and of course the rugged detachable bags. Check out the new 2017 Touring Machines from Arctic Cat. You'll see why we make it so easy to ride more. The 2017 Panteras bring a whole new level of performance and comfort to the touring category. With high-performance four-stroke engines and Arctic Cat's legendary suspensions, they are definitely not your father's touring sled. These state-of-the-art machines deliver quality and comfort like no other. The Panteras are built on two different chassis, the Pro Tour and the larger Pro Tour XT. Let's start with the Pro Tour, the chassis featured on the Pantera 3000 and Pantera 7000 Limited. The Pro Tour chassis, as opposed to the Pro Climb or the Pro Cross, it's a little stronger. It's built, uh, it's a single one-piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube uh, running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo. Uh, of course, hauling two people for, for a touring application. Really, the differences come uh, from the drive shaft back, and that's uh, it's just a longer chassis with more strength built in for the ability to carry carry more stuff, carry an extra person, and house longer tracks, which are, are typically uh, a better application for a touring. The Pro Tour chassis features the Arctic race suspension up front and a 146-inch track and slide action rear suspension for ultimate comfort on the trail. The larger Pro Tour XT chassis is featured in the Pantera XT Limited. This chassis also sports the ARS front suspension for great trail handling. In back, it employs a wide track and the articulating extra action rear suspension, making the Pantera 7000 XT Limited a very capable sport utility machine as well. 
And what articulating rear suspension uh, does is it basically means the, the rear of the suspension is allowed to uh, move up and down uh, as, the, as the skid frame works through the bumps or through the snow, which essentially shortens up the, the rear. So on a wide track uh, 7000 XT like this, you have 20 inch wide track by 154 inch length, which is very long track, very wide track, which is a lot of traction on the ground. Um, what the articulating frame does is it allows that, the back of that track to come up, which shortens the feel of the snowmobile when you're riding it forward or when you're riding it on the trails. But where a real big benefit comes in is where you're backing up in the snow, that rear of that skid frame will come up and want to get up on top of the snow versus go straight or dig into the snow. The Pantera lineup offers two power choices the 3,000 two-cylinder EFI four-stroke and the 7,000 three-cylinder EFI four-stroke. Both deliver smooth, quiet performance and great fuel economy. The 7,000 models also get team clutches. These proven clutches produce smooth power and offer excellent durability. The Pantera 7000 XT Limited also features the wide-range three-speed transmission with easy shift. We have a high, a low, and a super low, which gives you the ability to still be geared up high enough to run uh, at trail speeds and, and still be able to run across the lake as fast as you want, but also has the ability to gear down to a more reasonable level for uh, mid-trail use or light pulling, things like that. The 2017 Arctic Cat Panteras, easy to get on and ride more. It's big, it's nimble, and it'll take care of you like a bear protects her cubs. No wonder it's called the Bear Cat. As a working sled, there's none better for pulling, hauling, grooming, and patrolling. It's also a fun trail sled with surprising off-trail abilities. Bear Cat models are built across three different chassis, giving you several options to choose from depending on need and budget. The Bearcat 2000s are defined by the fan-cooled two-stroke engine and twin-spar chassis. These entry-level models offer great value in a very capable sport utility machine. The Bearcat 2000 LT is designed to handle lighter duties with a slide-action rear suspension, perfect for the trail. The Bearcat 2000 XT handles heavier duties, care of its wide, articulating track. Off-trail riding and pulling come naturally this pivot tow hitch is sure to get a lot of use. Both 2000s feature electric start and a detachable passenger seat. The Bearcat 3000 LT, featuring the Pro U chassis, is a very comfortable light duty utility and recreational sled. This Bearcat has a smooth two cylinder four stroke EFI engine. The ARS front suspension and slide action rear suspension smooth out the bumps. The 146 inch track narrow ski stands and wide tapered skis make it a very capable off-trail machine. The large rear rack is perfect for holding extra gear or hauling cargo. Designed as a solo rider machine, a new accessory passenger seat is available. The heavy-duty Bearcat 7000 XT and XT GS utilize the Pro Ute WT chassis, harboring the extra action rear suspension. The wide articulating track is 154 inches long. The articulating track allows for better traction off trail, especially when backing up. A narrow ski stance and wide tapered 10 8 skis also help in maneuvering in deep snow. These machines pull their weight regardless of the task. The Bearcat 7000 XT employs a powerful 125 class horsepower four stroke engine, perfect for hauling, pulling, and long distance riding. The Bearcat 7000 XT is equipped with a wide range three speed transmission with easy shift. This gearbox offers ultra low gearing, the industry's lowest, ideal for starting while pulling heavy loads. This is how you avoid track spin. Shift up for general continuous pulling and again for normal trail riding. Both the 7000 XT and XTGS have a flip-up hood for convenient maintenance. 
The Bearcat 7000 XT is built for general, heavy-duty sport utility use and has a detachable passenger seat for one or two up riding. The Bearcat 7000 XT GS, the groomer special, is more utilitarian. It easily pulls a small groomer for spur trails and cross-country trails. Unique features include this repositionable safety light bar, a large radiator to help with cooling at slow speeds, and switches and hookups for an optional trail groomer. Whether it's for utility or recreation, the Bearcat has become an iconic sled across the continent and around the world. See it in action and you'll know why we ride more, get more done. The 2017 delivers three Bearcat chassis. 2000 models feature the Twin Spar chassis. The Bearcat 3000 LT features the Pro Ute chassis. The Bearcat 7000 XT and GS models get the Pro Ute WT chassis. Starting with the Twin Spar, this robust chassis gets the 2000 Two Stroke, a fan cooled carbureted 65 class horsepower engine. It's an easy to operate machine, capable, reliable, and a great value. The Pro Ute chassis embodies the latest light duty utility technology. The 3000 two cylinder four stroke 65 class horsepower engine delivers plenty of smooth, efficient power. The ARS front suspension and slide action rear suspension are credited for the smooth ride. Obviously, it's a, it's a little stronger. It's a single one-piece tunnel. It has uh, steel tube uh, running board supports, uh, steel tube bumper, things that make it a stronger vehicle for the capability of hauling a little more cargo, of course, hauling two people for, for a touring application. 3000 LT Bearcat will have our, our new 10-8 skis along with a 38-inch ski stance, which the combination of the two makes it very easy to maneuver in the deep powder. And this vehicle is, is designed for that person who likes to get out and meander around or I'll say kind of boondock through the woods, haul light loads, becomes a real economical option for somebody who's looking for light utility use. The Pro Ute WT boasts a larger, heavy utility chassis built for on and off trail duty. This Bearcat gets the powerful 7,000 three-cylinder EFI four-stroke with 135 class horsepower. This chassis employs a longer, wider track and the articulating extra action rear suspension. Note also the standard passenger seat. On a wide track uh, 7000 XT like this, you have 20 inch wide track by 154 inch length, which is very long track, very wide track, which is a lot of traction on the ground. What the articulating frame does is it allows that, the back of that track to come up which shortens the feel of the snowmobile when you're riding it forward or when you're riding it on the trails. But where a real big benefit comes in is where you're backing up in the snow, the rear of that skid frame will come up and want to get up on top of the snow versus go straight or dig into the snow. Another nice benefit of our new articulating skid frame is the ability to lock and unlock it. So if you do want to lock it in for, for certain use, you can. Uh, it's a real easy pull and plug pin. And the reason you would maybe lock it in is if you want more traction on the ground, uh, you could lock the frame and get all that track there for pulling. That'll help you keep your ski pressure. It'll help you keep more track on the ground for, for pulling large loads. The benefits of the narrower ski stance just gives you the ability to get between obstacles and, and maneuver in the deep snow. And that kind of ties right into our, our new 10-8 skis which are an uh, all-new design, 8-inch uh, ski uh, for the majority, but it has a 10-inch tip, and the, the skis themselves are tipped up in the front much more, which allows them to get up on top of the snow. It allows you to run in deep snow and not trench, and makes for a much more optimally uh, ski. Both the Bearcat 7000 XT and 7000 XT GS bring you the advantages of team industries clutching. 
namely excellent durability and easier maintenance. By eliminating belt skid, these clutches stay cooler under pressure. When belt and clutch temperatures are reduced, more power is transferred to the track. The story continues with the incredible Wide Range 3 Speed or WR3 transmission. Our, our new tri shift feature is going to be a very huge feature for us. Uh, we've been asked by, by our customers to uh, come with a high low transmission, and we've kind of one upped them as we have a high, a low, and a super low, it, which gives you the ability to still be geared up high enough to run uh, at trail speeds and, and still be able to run across the lake as fast as you want, but also has the ability to gear down to a more reasonable level for mid-trail use or light pulling, things like that. But what's really neat about our, our new system is it's going to allow you to go to a super low gear, which is going to be over 40% lower than anybody else in the industry. It gives you the opportunity to go at such slow speeds that you can get heavy loads moving without any fear or risk of belt or drivetrain issues. It allows you to get belt lock up and good engagement without any uh, inefficiencies. All of our new wide tracks in our Pro Ute WT chassis come with a, a front mounted radiator. It's, it's a large radiator with a fan on it. This is going to greatly improve our cooling capacity and efficiency over previous models. We also have a front heat exchanger tied into that system, but what the large radiator allows you to do is, is move at slow speeds and in applications where you aren't getting that snow kick up onto a typical heat exchanger without, without overheating your engine, which obviously is very important for engine durability and engine life. The 2017 Bearcats, built to work, built to play, built to let you ride more. I've been riding snowmobile with my family as I grew up as a child. Since I was probably three years old, I was on a little snowmobile then. It is the one sport that we can do actually as a whole family. As a family, you're typically not gonna go play in a basketball tournament or something like that. Whereas as a family, you can each have your own snowmobiles. The kids get to get that physical activity themselves and ride their own machines as they get older. When the kids are very, very small, they can ride on the 120. And that kind of gets them introduced into snowmobiling. And then as they get a little bit older, they can go to the 570, which doesn't have a lot of power, and that's where kids need to start. From the 570, you would actually go up to like a 4,000. Women are always looking for something that they can do with their husbands. In my opinion, I feel that if the husband or boyfriend, the significant other can get their spouse or family involved in the sport, it's going to be a whole lot easier for them to be able to purchase these snowmobiles. To create. It means experiencing a reality which has never been known before. Introducing the Arctic Cat SVX 450, the world's first purpose-built snow bike. The revolutionary single beam skid frame design and precision engineered ski provides unmatched control, while the powerful 450cc four-stroke engine conquers any terrain in its path. The SVX 450 Ski is precisely engineered for the maximum amount of float in deep snow and laser accurate handling on the trail. The innovative skid frame is a collaborative effort between Arctic Cat and Camsel, the industry leader in track designs. When it comes to rough trail handling and technical terrain agility, its lightweight single beam design sets a new benchmark in suspension capability. Experience something new. Experience the Arctic Cat SVX 450 and share our passion. If you want
want to build a precision motor, you have to start with the Precision Factory. The Arctic Cat Engine Assembly Plant in St. Cloud, Minnesota is one of the finest examples in the world. Motors that come from within these walls reflect our determination to deliver the highest quality snowmobiles possible. The 600 two-stroke, our own engine, we've had great success with it. It's been very durable. This two-stroke, known as the 6000 C-Tech 2, was born and raised on the racetrack. It has seen the most brutal testing conditions and proven its reliability in countless races, including the infamous 2,000-mile Iron Dog. During the Iron Dog race up across Alaska, I was able to test our 6000 SeaTech. Pretty grueling race, and all 17 Articat SeaTechs finished that race up there, so that was a pretty big accomplishment. The beauty of testing and developing Articat engine technology on the racetrack is the opportunity it provides for racer input. The 600 motor has been just phenomenal. As a racer, I, I see the technology that we get to test and and build on, and that does go into the consumer sleds. I've been lucky enough to win a couple points championships on this new 600. It's, it's an awesome motor. Uh, even, even modified, it, it uh, produces a lot of horsepower. We knew we wanted to build the most reliable two-stroke 600 available, but it also had to be extremely efficient. Put a lot of miles on them. They don't burn a lot of oil. Real efficient up and down the trail. The engine gets a lot of, a lot of time on it, and they're really durably built. Modern engine design means fewer moving parts, less weight, exacting specifications, and world-class quality control. In the case of the 6000, dual stage injection reduces the distance fuel has to travel. Fuel is injected directly into the boost port side of the cylinder, increasing performance and fuel economy while reducing emissions. At lower RPMs, fuel enters the top of the piston. At higher RPMs, a small amount of oil is delivered to the engine's critical wrist pin bearings for superior lubrication. The electronic oil pump meters fuel oil ratios by RPM and by altitude, dramatically improving fuel and oil consumption. The SeaTech 2 6000 is evidence of what's to come. The 2017 lineup capitalizes on our proven stable of legendary two stroke engines. At the top of the power pecking order is the tried and true 160 class horsepower 8000. Next in line, the Arctic built 125 class horsepower 6000. Followed by the 85 class horsepower 4000. And finally, the 65 class horsepower 2000. Sea Tech 2 power from Arctic Cat is legendary. Deciding how much power you want is the hard part. Talk to your dealer about which engine package is right for you. With this new 998cc turbo, it's a triple cylinder, four-stroke turbo. The engine's actually built by Yamaha. Our old 9000 was, was, a, was a good benchmark, had great power, didn't lose horsepower at altitude. Spinning that 162-inch track, some good power behind it to really get through the really deep powder. We not only kept that power, we increased it to 180 horsepower, but then also we took close to 10 to 15 pounds out of that engine package itself. The new Arctic Cat 998 is a highly efficient three-cylinder, four-stroke turbocharged engine, complete with intercooler and a unique air bypass circuit, delivering incredible performance with uncompromised throttle response. The side-mounted turbocharger receives fresh air through a screened and baffled intake plenum. The air is pressurized and fed to three independent throttle bodies located close to the intake valves through equal length delivery tubes. The air-to-air -air intercooler lowers the temperature to increase density. Balanced combustion occurs in each cylinder for maximum efficiency and response. The engine's key components, including pistons, connecting rods, and crankshaft, are all designed specifically with additional strength to handle this increase in performance for uncompromised reliability. The turbocharger is also designed for high durability. A special ceramic ball bearing supports the impeller shaft. 
It is able to withstand extreme temperatures, RPM, and pressure, while reducing friction and loss. Nine sensors relay operating conditions to the ECU, which commands precise control over the turbocharger system. When the optimum target pressure is reached, the ECU triggers a solenoid to open the internal wastegate valve, redirecting exhaust flow away from the impeller. Ideal intake manifold pressure is further maintained by a unique air bypass valve. When the throttle valves are suddenly closed, the rapid increase in pressure can cause a detectable surge. The air bypass valve instantly opens, redirecting air into the intake plenum. As the target pressure is reached, the air bypass valve closes and the ideal pressure is held. The turbo engine remains efficient, able to respond with no perceptible hesitation as the throttle valves reopen, producing seamless power on its way to peak RPM. The new ArctiCat 998 Turbo is the ultimate snowmobile performance engine. The advanced electronic system, along with unique features like triple throttle bodies and air bypass circuit, combine to deliver incredible throttle response from any speed or RPM. Engineered with ArctiCat quality, this all-new 998 Turbo promises the most sophisticated arm-stretching power in the industry. Yamaha put together an engine package that is really going to rip it up anywhere where they, they need that extra horsepower and that extra track to get where they want to go. The, the Midwestern guy is going to love this new 9998. It's going to be really cool to race down the trails in the Midwest on and then bring it out in the mountains and just rally around. Arctic Cat always commands enormous respect for our four-stroke power lineup. This year, jaws will drop as the 998 Turbo shows four-stroke enthusiasts what it means to be clean, dependable, and absurdly powerful. Our newest member of the lineup won't be stealing all the thunder. In addition to the 998, designated the 9000, the Arctic Cat four-stroke lineup also includes the 7000, a top-performing 135-class horsepower four-stroke, as well as the very practical and reliable 65 class horsepower 3000 introduced in 2016 clean efficient powerful we'll say no more the rest is up to you to experience riding snowmobile with my family as I grew up as a child. Since I was probably three years old, I was on a little snowmobile then, and I've always ridden with my brothers, so I've had a long history of riding. Families need to be able to do things together as a family that are fun, like snowmobiling. There's a lot of physical activity with it, even though you don't feel like you're having a hard workout. It still takes you know, effort to ride a snowmobile. Articat, great manufacturer. The clothing is so much nicer. Everything is a lot warmer, better fabrics. All of the technology that has gone into the clothing itself helps keep the kids and everyone very, very comfortable going out. The clothing line to me is unbelievable how it has grown to what it is today. The fun accessories, earrings, coffee mugs, you can buy anything that you want to buy that has already cat on it. Snowcross, cross country, hill climb. We've been seeking the number one position since day one. Competition guides our culture and fuels our passion. Bottom line, it's all about crossing the finish line first. Even when we shatter world records, and one of our own takes his ninth consecutive gold medal at the X Games, we know there's still more to come. More wins, more podiums, more glory. While racing is a part of our tradition, it is just as much a part of the research and development of our consumer sleds. That's where a lot of cutting edge technology comes from. The slide action rear suspension was developed by racers to control excessive ski lift under hard acceleration. The SeaTech 2 6000 engine also came into being by way of the racetrack. 
And most recently, our dozen-year racing relationship with Team Industries has culminated in the deployment of the Rapid Response Arctic Drive System. Knowing that you can subject your personal sled to race sled conditions gives you plenty of confidence when exploring the upper limits of your abilities. The future stars of Arctic Cat Racing are already taking their positions on the podium. To watch them in action is to really see how hard this team is conditioned to work. Racing, it's our calling, and it's another reason why we ride more. thinking and experiencing in the field what what the results were and saying hmm, what, is, what else is different here that's a big part of engineering I think you got to be inquisitive you got to have an inquisitive mind if you're if you're satisfied with where we're at you'll only be who you are well Roger's an awesome guy for sure I've known him almost my whole life you know, growing up in the snowmobile industry and going racing uh, with my dad as a kid. Anytime I'm uh, at the races and Roger's there, he's one of the first ones to, to come to the trailer, you know, in the morning and one of the, the first ones at the podium. If I'm, uh, you know, able to get in the top three, he's right there to shake my hand and give me a big hug and, and he's been there you know, the whole time just cheering me on as a race fan and, and also supporting me from an engineering standpoint with Artica. Yeah, the spirit of innovation, I mean, think about the mission statement that we have to be the ultimate off-road riding experience. I mean, that's what Roger was all about. So his innovation and his creative ideas came from being on the product, riding the product, and being one with the product every day, every week, every year. And so that innovation that he's brought into uh, our sleds has uh, helped make us who we are today as, as one of the innovators in the industry. And so Roger was there at the beginning of, of, uh, of snowmobiles and, um, and uh, you know, that continues today in, in the uh, position that we have in the marketplace as one of the most innovative companies in, uh, in the world. You know, I think uh, as you think about Roger Skyme, you think about Pioneer. And what has Roger done? And going back again, Articat starting in 1962, we have the honor of having Roger still around today, 2017 model year that we're going to be unveiling this year. And, and you look at some of the stuff that Roger's pioneered on a snowmobile, we see it today. And, and it could be some of the same items that just has been around for 55 years. Um, I talked earlier about the, the slide rail, and, and that's something that we still see today, and it means so much on the suspension, but it's all little things. Handlebar warmers. How many people would you ever think would put handlebar warmers on a snowmobile, and now it's standard equipment? So you think of what Roger has brought to the industry, and that's all because Roger rides many, many miles. You know, you uh, go back in the, in the 70s and you ask Roger what he's doing. He's riding on the weekends, he's riding at nights, and he's working during the day. Legend, I mean, anybody that knows anything about snowmobiles knows Roger. I mean, he's, <laughs> to me, he is Mr. Snowmobile. It's amazing how Roger has got the respect from people outside, but also the respect from people inside. The internal customer service of the employees, it's amazing how many people, you know, Roger's semi-retired, but there's, they can't wait to tell Roger what's going on. So I don't know how to, how to explain that in, in the part of a legend or, there's still look to Roger today for his advice. Where we got some real talented young engineers and, and when Roger's off or he's out testing and he comes back in and you can, you can just see that the engineers can't wait to kind of get the stamp of a Roger approval. Roger, I just want to thank you for all that you've done for the company. The passion, the creativity, the innovation that you've brought to Arctic Cat will, will live forever. Um, and as great as a, a contribution that you've always made and will continue to make to Arctic Cat, I want to thank you for that. But as great as that is, I also want to thank you for being the great leader and the great person that you are. Because as great as a, an innovator as you are, uh, you're an even better person. And that is uh, born throughout all the folks that you've developed, you've mentored, and you've led throughout the years. So I just want to thank you for everything you've done for the company. He has been so friendly and so involved and helpful, you know, to my career and Tucker's career. But if you step back and look at it, we ain't special. There's hundreds of people 
but he's the same way too. And I just have to say thanks, man. Thank you, Roger, for for 45 years of just great enjoyment working with you.